This has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out, out rips them apart. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director, but that's not me. I'm not a director type, I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof, this is already it, more than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all.
this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Thanks, Emily. Not gonna lie, they threw a lot of concepts, lots of terminology, lots of allegories and metaphors. But that's why I love it. Try to get the sense of the mystery of what the actual heck is going on. The hotline should be in the communications department. Alright, finally. Gotta get some answers. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. I, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. That's a good hypothesis, based on the service weapon, in regards to what happened to the Trench. Yeah, that's a great hypothesis, probably foreshadowing. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. So, the theory about the objects of power, they're just manifestations of the mind, or some alternate reality, or some perception. So, what is not perceived in reality, or in the true world, comes into the world, and it can be used to neutralize the mind, or some kind of mind gun, in a sense. Got it. So, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. 
Sounds like this guy knew a whole lot more than he's let us know. All right. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Does Emily answer what's going on with the plot? At least we have a sense of normal C in a sense. It's still pretty much insane and very weird, like Jesse said, but there's a normancy and there's an understanding. I am speculating that this uh, Federal Bureau of Control was messing with nature and forces that they didn't understand, and just like any scientist, things went sideways, and then they end up releasing stuff that they didn't have control of. Ha! <laughs> Roll credits. Anyway. Get more backstory, uh, investigate what's going on.
There it is again. Our welcome message. If I understood what the hiss are trying to communicate with these hosts, probably it would reveal a big plot of what's going on. Hmm. speculate that this guy got screwed. Okay, so hotels in Nevada. I wonder if these are actually real or fictional based on this game. $714.84. Seriously, who's the real monster? The hotels or the actual food companies? Huh, <laughs> jeez. Service weapon, is it the only one or is there another one? Hmm. There's no barrier or some something blocking it, but I guess the plot.
Space Files, huh? How many deaths actually occur? It's redacted, so we don't know how many deaths they're trying to hide based on this auditory event. Curious and curious. Okay, I guess I'm not going in there. So there is a way to destroy the barriers. That's good to know. Sin is trying to read out. how they do that title screen. Seriously wish I had a flashlight. I wish I had a flashlight in this room.
fish. That's a very weird very noble. Wait, what is that? What the heck is that? Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched... I mean, three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Every time that guy speaks, I'm more interested in the plot. He's one of the very coolest characters. He's a nerd, but you want to kind of know what they mean by telekinesis. He's definitely delving into the topic of telekinesis. And three dozen pencils? That's impressive. And also a cup. What else can you launch with telekinesis? So at this point, yeah. Is this place an X-Men facility, or, or are we going to really sci-fi territory?
communications. We're on the right track. Yeah, pretty much. Floppy disk. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was just creepy. And it doesn't help with the creepy puppet. Also, was that puppet looking at the audience, or... I think the thing was breaking the fourth wall. It kind of gave me chills a little bit. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of effective. Presidents. Oh, that should be lovely. Alright. Uh, I'm not watching that again. Kind of creeped me out. Is he making it up or is he for real? So is this a Bureau of X-Men? I'm getting that impression because they're really doing with paranormal, very sci-fi stuff, um, sometimes scientific concepts. Hmm.
that's a disturbing thought. I mean, I I want to see if I can get past that barrier because uh, it cleans the point. So let's see. Of course, there's enemies. Okay, time to run. Lucky. All right, let's see if this barrier actually disappeared. Crap, it didn't disappear. Follow the trail of blood. Hmm. feel good about going through this hallway. As I've learned in horror movies, in kind of sci-fi thrillers, nothing's good around the corner. Do I really want to know? I kind of want to go through this shelter first.
Alright, time to see what's obviously with the creepy breathing. What in the actual crap is that? 